Hi everyone, um, I'm Min Min from Monash University, Malaysia. Uh, today I will share about one of my research projects entitled Religiousness and Quality of Life Among Older Adults of Different Ethnic Groups, a five-year follow-up study. Past studies have shown that religion is associated with a better quality of life. However, many studies were conducted among Western Christian and white populations, and there are relatively fewer studies in this part of the world and among believers of other major religions, uh, such as Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism. And most of the studies were cross-sectional and looking at only one point in time. My study examined the association between religiousness and the quality of life among older adults of different ethnic groups in Malaysia, both cross-sectionally and longitudinally. I analyzed two wave data of 3,810 older adults from Southeast Asia Community Observatory, a health and demographic surveillance system located at the district of Sagamat in the state of Johor in West Malaysia, of which there were 2,438 Malays, 1,017 Chinese uh, who were mostly Buddhist, uh, the Malays who were, uh, were mostly Muslim, and 355 Indians who were mostly Hindus. The religious variables included were religious importance and a belief in a higher power. Quality of life was measured using the brief World Health Organization's quality of life scale. I conducted two analyses. One was cross-sectional using baseline data. Another was a follow-up analysis, which looked at the change of quality of life score. The study shows that there were ethnic variations in the association between religiousness and quality of life. Consistent with past studies, the associations between religiousness and quality of life were mainly positive in a cross-sectional an analysis at baseline. Religious importance was associated with a better quality of life among Malays and Chinese, and the belief in a higher power was associated with a better quality of life among Malays and Indians. However, the association was negative or none in the two-wave analysis, which included a five-year follow-up. Religious importance among Malays and a belief in a higher power among Indians were associated with poorer quality of life. The mixed results in our study suggest that religiousness has a positive impact on the current quality of life, but the effect could change in the future. Assumptions made by cross-sectional study without following up may be misleading. Since the positive association between religiousness and quality of life is short-lived, health promotion programs should continue to examine the effect of religiousness across timelines among aging populations across all ethnic groups. Religious sensitivity should be considered when doing community outreach. In conclusion, this study has identified religiousness as the positive, a possible determinants of quality of life among older adults in a predominantly Muslim and multicultural setting and could help to pave the way to health promotion programs among religious communities. Thank you for listening.